It's important to take notes. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we're here today to talk about write in the rain notepads. Uh, chances are you know what a write in the rain notepad is. Um, if not, just so you know, it is uh, essentially waterproof paper, right? So it's paper that I can write on and when it gets wet, when it gets muddy, whatever, it's not going to wash off or crumple into like, you know, disgusting paper mush. Like they're gonna, they're gonna hold their shape. And so that's it. They're used by all kinds of people for all kinds of things outdoors when you need to write stuff down outside. So whenever I'm thinking about adding products to my website, uh, there are some qualifications, right? Like the first one is like, I want it to be useful. Um, and if it's something that I've designed uh, and then made like my chest rig or my bandoliers or other stuff, then obviously like, yeah, I think it's useful and important and I can articulate why. So I want it to be useful. And the second thing is, is I want to actually have some experience with it, right? I don't just want to put things on my website to sell because there are things on my website and you should buy them, right? I want to put things on my website that I personally find useful and valuable and I can articulate why I think that's something you should use. Right in the rain notepads to me seem like a pretty good no brainer. Um, you're going to need to make notes when you're doing Minuteman stuff, right? If you're radioing, if you're reconning, if you're just taking notes about what meetup time or mission details or whatever, there's stuff you should be writing down. And having a pen and paper pad that are weather durable, shall we say, is very, very important because you know, most of this stuff that we do is outside and in the field, at least it should be boys. So I think that that's very important. So I have a couple different sizes uh, on my website that I'm gonna offer. We're gonna go through them real quick, just so you understand what the different size options are, get an idea of them if you're not familiar with some of them, and then uh, you can make a decision from there. So I hope that it is helpful to you. And again, if, if, you, if you don't get it from me, you should, you should own a write in the rain notepad, okay? You should own multiples because they're consumables, unfortunately. I know that hurts me too, but they are consumables and you should use them and then you should be buying new ones because you're out there and you're training and you're getting more dangerous. All right, let's go to the tabletop here and just take a quick look. All right, so let's not belabor the point too much here, but first you have the three and a half inch size, right? This is a pretty standard pocket size. The next up is the four by six. I tend to like the four by six better personally. This is my kind of go-to notebook right now is the four by six size. I just think it gives you a little bit more real estate in comparison and it makes note writing a little easier. This is great because you can bring it anywhere. You can always slip that in your pocket and always have it. I like that a lot. Uh, I like the four by six just for more comfortability. This is slightly bigger than a four by six and I like this one because it side folds so that I can fold it over and it's much easier to take notes on. So. The reason I like this one above this one, right, is that it has more real estate. Same thing here. This has more real estate and it's just easier to write on. Next one up is this bad boy here, the 974. And this one is slightly larger, right, in the, in the actual paper size. And then it's much more like a notebook. This one does have perforated pages, which is great if you need to uh, write a message and hand it off to someone or any for any reason that you would need to remove that, right? You're making a recon sketch and then you need to, to tear it out and give it to someone. So that is really cool. I like that the pages are perforated. It makes life a lot easier. I like this also because it has a ton of pages, right? So I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this one, whereas these ones I'll probably run out of sooner. But this is great for larger projects, larger notes, or you just don't wanna change your notebook out as often. And it's still a good size that it will fit inside like a cargo pocket or something like that. All of these are portable. And that, that's a very key point to me is that they need to be able to fit inside my chest rig or inside my cargo pocket or somewhere so that I can keep them on me. Not in the pack, preferably, although sometimes I'll do that if I put them in a case or whatever, but preferably I wanna be able to keep them on me and that's why I've chosen the sizes that I've chosen. The last one here, this is the 971. And this one just happens to be in tan. I think these are coming in a three pack on, on the website. But this is the same size here, right? It's just uh, skinnier. It's just a little bit smaller. So the page is open easier and I have a much easier time laying this flat because it's a little bit skinnier. So. This is also really nice because it's gonna save a little bit of weight, right? Every ounce is equal pounds, pounds equal pain. So whenever I can save weight, I'm always a fan of that. But that's just kind of a different mission set there. This is if I'm planning larger things, longer things, I wanna hold on to the notebook, I want to plan and tearing pages out, whatever. This is more like 
uh, per mission kind of, kind of notebook issue to me. So these are the different options that I'm gonna offer on there. Maybe there'll be additional ones later in the future. I don't know, depending on when you're watching this video. But right now, these are the ones I'm going with. Uh, I really enjoy them. I hope that you find them useful in your training and everyday Minuteman stuff. Do brave deeds and endure.